Hi everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. More insider selling continues with Carp actually selling a bit more shares. This also in addition to yesterday and also Palantir releasing a new video called Building for Opportunity. Now I won't go through the whole video here. It's almost 16 minutes long, but Emily Nguyen, head of industrials, goes through her personal journey and what drove her to work at Palantir and the kind of work she's doing with emphasis that Palantir is doing the hard things that matter and aligns with their mission. And even commercially too, they are bringing freedom and prosperity through technology and just through their mission. I think it's interesting that the publish this kind of video. It's not the typical demo or trailer for a product, nor upper management speaking, but I think it shows more of the psyche of the folks getting their hands dirty at Palantir and doing the actual work. So feel free to check it out when you have a chance. Now, the insider selling continues, like I said, I think folks found it useful when I provide the previous form fours for context, and that's on their latest insider sales in relation to someone holding. So first, we've seen Shyam Sanker selling 225,000 shares for $5.2 million from his last form four. So before he had 750,000 class A direct owned 750,000 class A shares indirectly owned with the remaining 1.9 million class B shares, which he probably converted for the sale. Then we've got Stephen Cohen selling 405,000 shares for $9.5 million. And his last form for showed 592 class A shares remaining and 12.2 million class B shares. So he definitely converted some class B to make this sale as well. Then we got Alex Karp selling his 585,000 shares. This is in addition to the 650,000 shares we also saw yesterday. So the last two days he sold over 1.2 million shares. But remember in the video yesterday, I provided his previous form four, showing he still has a bunch of class B and A to cover these sales to be a minor percentage. Now, feeling like a broken record here, I'm just relaying the news. This isn't really new news per se to see insider selling, and these aren't huge stakes getting offloaded at once. So management's interests are still aligned with the long-term performance of the company, in my opinion. Now, if you're only interested in the short term, this kind of news will affect you. But for the majority of folks, it's just something to keep monitoring over time. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.